We launched uh, 4G on the 26th of September, so very, very recently. Uh, to great success, we were the first uh, first to market in Ireland, which is unusual for Aircom and Meteor, we're usually fast followers. So it was uh, quite momentous for us to get out to market so quickly, considering the Spectrum auction was only uh, late last year. Uh, so we launched in Dublin, Carlo and Athlone with about 26% population coverage, and we'll get to about 40% population coverage by next summer. So we're hoping to get to about 90% population coverage over the next uh, three years. So quite aggressive plans uh, using our 1800 spectrum and our 800 spectrum. Well, we did quite a, a significant amount of research before we launched 4G and you know, as we shaped our proposition. So there was probably a couple of things that emerged from that research. One was the concern that customers have over the amount of data that they'll use over 4G. So to overcome that, we've launched with free data uh, for the first six months. And that is to encourage people to use 4G, try it out, see how good it is, but also to learn about how much data they do actually use on their smartphones. The other challenge I think we have is actually convincing people that they need 4G. So we're also investing quite significantly in our 3G network. We're using UMTS 900 to expand the breadth of our 3G coverage, also the depth of our coverage, particularly in building. And we are you know, offering our customers speeds up to 42 megabits per second. So as a result of that, our challenge is actually persuading people that they need 4G to move from 3G to 4G. And I think, I'm confident that once people try 4G, and certainly that's the feedback we're getting from our trial, that they'll absolutely love it and they'll never get, go back. But our challenge is definitely to persuade people to make the move to 4G. So to make it easier for our customers to move to 4G, we're actually not charging a premium. So you can move from our existing postpay tariffs onto a 4G tariff without incurring any additional cost. One of the messages that certainly came out for me today in attending some of the keynote speakers was this need for investment, particularly I think it was termed visionary investment, that we need to invest in, in broadband without necessarily knowing what the return on that investment will be. And I think that does echo uh, Aircom's strategy. So our vision is what we're calling Network for a Nation, and it's a combination of all our assets, our fixed assets, be it DSL or fiber, our wireless assets, be it 3G or 4G, our Wi-Fi assets, and it's about using all those assets to bring ubiquitous broadband to all our customers. And it's not really about the technology. I think for our customers, they just want to be connected anywhere, everywhere, whenever they want to be connected. And that is certainly, I think, being echoed here today is this need for investment. Also, the challenge I think that operators will have in generating incremental revenue from broadband investment. And this is a challenge that I think all operators face. And we need to move away from, I suppose, focusing on the technology and make sure that we're getting the customer experience right. What I, I always like about these conferences is the fact that you're meeting other operators who are facing the same challenges as you. So for an operator like Aircom, who are a standalone operator in a, in a relatively small market, the challenges that we face are the same challenges that other operators are facing all over the world. And it is good, I think, to, to meet vendors and operators and discuss together how we will overcome these challenges as an industry.